Now welcome back to part two of Drawing the Head. So we welcome you to the Gun Ross family. In our last session, we reviewed that the head is a sphere and to on the sides of on the sides on the two sides of the head it's a flat uh it's a flat circle. However, on a sphere, similar to the fishbowl example that I showed in our previous lesson. And so in this lesson we're going to go more into detail about constructing the face. And uh, in, in the last video, I showed like I gave you guys a little glimpse that this we uh, everything is going to you're going to get all your information from these crosshairs where the face is at, where the face is uh, being rotated, you know, etc. And also in this part of the crosshairs, this is this is where your ear is going to come from. Okay, all right. And so we're going to uh, just give. I'm just going to give you guys just a little sketch of. This, so this is the center line, right? And in the in the uh, the Loomis method, the Loomis on in, on the average human, uh, the chin tends to uh, come up here. It tends to, tends to originate straight from the ear. Some people some people are, are different. So I'm going to show you guys that kind of example. You know, and so on this portion of the head, this top this top quadrant of the circle. Uh, this is where we're going to uh, reveal that plane change, okay? And so this plane change, you don't, you don't usually, you don't usually have to draw it, but I'm drawing it just so that you guys have an understanding of the different planes that we're working with, okay? So this is like the side plane of that face, and this is the frontal plane of that face. Generally, you don't really have to draw this, you know? And so, and and this part in the bottom is the chip, okay? And so, for uh, if you're drawing a uh, a man, you know some people people are different. So this chin is going to vary, okay? So if you were to draw a uh, a very muscular man, for example, right? He'd have much more of a of a chin definition here, okay? So we can increase the size of that here, and then we can draw. Can draw it looking like this okay just increasing the size of the chin here so this chin wouldn't originate from the ear you know we'd have an extra bump here for the, the jawbone okay and for a more feminine a more feminine example for, for females generally their chin isn't like straight up you know you would draw you you would draw a uh, the female chin leaning leaning towards the front more so it wouldn't be straight like a like a man like a man okay so you would draw them like leaning leaning a little bit more towards the uh towards uh this plane towards the jaw okay so this line here would be leaning more and for males they're more straight okay and sometimes uh males and females don't have this and sometimes they originate straight from the ear and it really depends on what you're going for. Rather, you want to go for a more diverse style so that you get an understanding of this or one form and then apply it to all your others, depending on your art style. So, yeah, we're going to be paying attention to these, this, these uh, crosshairs here, all right? And so, as I'm, as I'm drawing this arrow, okay, this arrow leads right here to the, uh, the eyebrow ridge, okay? So this is where your eyebrow the eyebrow line is located at. Okay, you can use this to help you to uh, to indicate where where you're going to draw. You know what you're going to draw first. First, for me, I like to indicate this center line. That hey, this is the eyebrow. This is where the eyebrow is. This is where the eyebrows is are is located. Are located. This is where the eyebrows are located. So I'm going to draw the eyebrows first. Okay, so. And this is within the center line. This top portion here is that is the uh, the hairline. Okay, so everything is going to curve towards here. Okay, so this is the hairline portion. And then as you curve this bottom portion of the of these crosshairs, you're going to uh, align it with the nose. 
and within this portion of the uh, the crosshairs, this is where you're going to uh, have the sideburns. Okay, the sideburns are going to originate from this this port. You know, and it also depends on this on what kind of hairstyle you want to give the character. And then there's going to be this this uh, high portion of the head. I don't know what this portion is called, but uh, it's usually here. It's lo usually located in this upper portion of the crosshairs. And then that's where you start to uh, uh, get this hairline. Okay. And so as you're drawing, this is going to be the eyebrow ridge. This is going to be the cheek. And at times, it also depends on the person. Usually on muscular people, the chin is very wide, but it doesn't have to be this wide. So if we were to change that. And so although, you know, not 100% perfect, uh, you, you start to see the uh, just the average the average trees if this person wasn't as muscular then uh, the uh, this portion would start to curve inward like that okay from the bottom from near the bottom of this sphere you know near that tip that opening if you can see and so generally when I'm drawing the head for my characters I tend to imagine this portion but you don't have to uh, draw it here. But you can just like imagine that uh, this portion here is like a plane change, okay? And so, and so for this middle portion here that I'm going to outline. This is where your eyebrow ridge is going to uh, originate from, okay? So the eyebrow the eyebrow ridge ridge is almost always towards the center for this figure at least. This the eyebrow ridge you see the center the center axis here as you ride along that curve this is where your eyebrow ridge is going to come up, okay? So I'm going to outline that more. And so as I outline it, now you, now you start to see this bump. So this middle area, so this kind of, this eyebrow ridge symbolizes an arrow. An arrow of where to start, where to go to, okay? So this is where your eyebrow ridge would be located, okay? And so you will start here. Uh, this top portion of the circle is where you're, you will get your hairline, okay? This, this is where you would get your hairline, all right? And this bottom portion of the circle is where you, where the nose is going to be aligned. Okay. So the so the nose will be aligned here, near the bottom portion. Uh, the eyebrow ridge, you know, would be aligned near the uh, in the middle, and on the in the top is where you will ride along the hairline. Okay. And so if we were to come to this figure here, you know, this is where you, it's this say this figure is looking down, okay? This is where the eyebrow ridge is going to come up, okay? So just imagine, imagine that arrow, okay? And I always start from the center. I indicate the eyebrow ridge first, and then after that, you do the, uh, that center line here, okay? And uh, generally, uh, generally your center line should match the, the same formation as that. The same formation as the way this is tilting. Uh, this is where your center line this is what what your center line should be matching. Okay, the same thing like that. And for the, the top portion here, this is where the hairline is. Okay, and this is where your nose would be. You know, you would ride that that circle. And so now, from the edge of this circle, is where you're going to have your cheeks 
forming here. Okay? This is where your cheek will be forming. And then the nose would uh, originate from this portion. Okay? The nose is generally like aligns near that bottom part. Okay? Like this bottom portion aligns near that bottom, near that bottom part. Okay? And then after after you have the hair your hairline, your eyebrow ridge, and this section of the nose, this completes the the cranium of the head. Okay? And then the extra portion where the mouth is is where you're going to have you're going to draw the jaw. And so something more that I wanted to go over in the video is that when you come here, usually generally uh, you, you generally see this center line going straight down. However, for me, whenever I'm drawing the center line, I like to draw it, I like to draw the bumps, the visible bumps. So this bump right here would symbolize the, the mouth and then there will be another bump here to symbolize the chin. Okay, so generally this center line is not just a straight line. It's, uh, there's, there are uh, several bumps. So like uh, the mouth counts as like, it, it, it protrudes out, you know, and the chin also protrudes out. Then you have the nose here protruding out. And then there's the uh, the middle of the uh, the eyebrow. I, I don't know what that muscle is called, but there's the middle of that, uh, the center line in between the, the two the two eyebrows there's also a bump here okay depending on which position you're looking at and so if we were to exclude the nose because the nose is a bit more, more further in terms of the bump the closest the closest uh, three bumps are the ones in between the eyebrow and the, the mouth here and here and this uh, chin here And so what I have here is a mouth. And so the reason why I make this bump when I'm looking at it from this, this profile is so that in near the middle of the bump, this is where the middle of that mouth goes. Okay, and this is where your bottom of the lip goes. Okay, just so that you make sure not to, uh, you know, uh, place this, place these markings on the straight line. You know, so the, the, bottom, the bottom of the lip that's showing wouldn't really align to the middle here. If you, get, if you get what I'm saying, the uh, bottom of the lip actually is making that curve when you're looking at the, the crosshairs of this this inner circle that I drew previously. Is where it, you know you're also going to draw the hairline. So everything originates from those cross from this crosshair. Everything originates from this crosshair. No matter where you uh, where you position it, you know you want to always uh, follow that.